it's finally here. Oh my. Ah, it's in rough conditions too. Gotta open this baby up. Introducing to you all the Galaxy RVR for the Arduino Uno. Fun fact, I've been basically playing Russia Roulette with resistors because I forgot anti-static mats exist. But, don't worry, I'll solve the crisis. Oh my goodness, the next piece of legendary treasure! Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're unboxing something I've been really excited to get my hands on, the Galaxy RVR Rover. I've heard some great things about this, so let's dive right in and see what we're working with. Alright, first impressions. This box is definitely substantial, and it's got some serious weight to it, so, well maybe not serious, but some weight. You can tell right away that there's some quality hardware that could be inside, and I like how the look has this clean, modernish design with high quality print. Another thing I noticed is how comprehensive this user manual is. And apparently there is also warranty information, but aside from that, the documentation looks really clean and really concise from what I can tell. Uh, that the fact how the start guide has some clear illustrations and step-by-step -step instructions with full color and detailed diagrams. So it's pretty good to know that hey, this this brand really wants you to kind of assemble this correctly because there is a few steps to go and to keep in mind. But generally speaking, it shouldn't be too difficult, especially when you provide resources like online videos and other experts that know how to build this. I can try to unbox this real quickly and we can see how the tires just pop up right here. And these are pretty good quality tires, I'll say. Almost like those in a car or in an RC vehicle. And I like how each of the boxes have their own window space that can just kind of dedicate that, hey, one of these carries electrical components, the other carries metal parts, and so on. Okay, I'm not gonna hold this weirdly. I'm just gonna, I'm just going to use this brand new mount. So yeah, really good impression of what Galaxy RVR is doing, which is great news for me because I do not want to do it.
At last, there we have it, the Mars Rover from Galaxy RVR. So I think this solar panel is a bit tilted. I do want to point out that since the Arduino Uno is the rover's brain and the fact that we come, it comes with a connector, you are able to add programs and customize it with the Arduino Uno IDE. Gotta love the fact that Megatronics is involved in this. So here we are, the test driving out in the open fields of Mars, which is a bit greener for some reason. I'm gonna have to record this on this phone because to actually use this, you have to download its app, connect it with an internet access as, I guess you could treat this as a router, but you basically just connect it to your phone with the rover and then use the Sun Founder app to control it as well as using it for their other products. And then you can customize the control and pretty much maneuver the rover. I will say that unfortunately, or for some reason, the camera is upside down. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to come, but I will try to modify it. Back to begin. Okay, simply hand to new, Galaxy RVR, and then pretty much if I turn this on, should hopefully work. Yes, there you go. Again, upside down camera, but proper controls right here. Flip it off road. that I can maneuver the other side and the lamp which I can turn on yeah I forgot to mention it comes with a lamp come on look at this see looks just like as if it was in Mars big question is can it withstand the ancient forest of Mars Now I'd like to explain something very important that I think every one of you will find it easy because I just figured this out. Electronic biasing establishes the constant operating point for active components by superimposing a predetermined DC potential upon the dynamic AC signal path. This creates the requisite electrostatic field gradients within semiconductor junctions or thermomonic devices, ensuring they operate within their linear amplification regions rather than in cutoff or saturation states. It all makes sense now. It came to me so easily. I think about it, you have these waves, and then once biasing comes in, it kind of just twists up in here, and it kind of gets shrinker. It kind of shrinks in, uh, within the chips, but I cannot really show you how, probably if I drew on a board, but Basically, a charged couple devices like a quantum Congo line where photons crash into a silicon dance floor, exciting electrons into a frenzied groove. These liberated electrons dive into deep sized potential wells, tiny electrostatic bathtubs, wild voltage waves ripple across the surface like synchronized tsunami pulses, coaxing the charges to shimmy from one well to the next, and a bucket brigade ballet. The electrical waves aren't just pulses, they're orchestrated quantum rhythms guiding electrons through a maze of capacitive electrons to reach the readout node, where their journey is translated into voltage, digitized, and immortalized as an image, a pixelated echo of the original photon rave. Waveform cycle. Well, that makes perfect sense. Let me just tell you, I didn't went to school for this at all. I'm actually quite an idiot. I don't know how I should build this. I just read the manual, but this finally opened up what I was looking into. It all makes sense now. And it should make sense to you too.
So this do this uh, park is full of dogs and furry animals. So fortunately, this rover is capable of murdering them. Early in the video, when I was about to assemble this other piece, basically you add more sensors, and I guess that also means you can add a machine gun on top of this in place of the solar panels. Now, how epic would that be? A machine gun or a sensor or even a missile guidance system? Well, howdy, folks. Looks good. Hey there. Found your dog, your new companion. Oh, yeah, that's a little face. Wheels. Well, there's uh, six in total, yep. and basically each has a motor on yep. them that's attached to, well, just this mill piece. Yep. Uh, it's power, solar power, solar power. Powered. Yeah, but you can also charge it around here, you and you can also. Speed port or what? Or yeah, pretty much. This is an Arduino Uno, which is basically a microprocessor, and that's used to add programs and kind of customize it here and there. How but I've just. Wow. How is it that when he. <laughs> like already way smarter than I've ever been. <laughs> uh, well, I read a manual, okay? I didn't want to score for this. All right, let's be honest. He learned it off the manual. No, that's so awesome there you that you're go. doing that. That's oh, really yeah. good. Oh, yeah. But it, it really was a kit, though. I didn't, well, make it entirely from scratch. It was from a yeah. kit that I brought and then read the manual. And then I just somehow got this to work. Awesome. Amazing. So, that's really cool. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank Excellent. you very much. Yeah, enjoy your Take care. I don't know why, but these Martians appear to be pretty kind. Well, after being agonized by the dog, I believe that this pretty much concludes the video. We've done the testing and the assembling, and it's been pretty fun, not gonna lie. And it's been pretty surprising how I managed to get this work, and despite so many flaws, I think I'll still try to customize it again with the uh, other panel on top, as well as trying to program and see what other modifications I could probably do. Maybe if I can make it do backflips or send samples to Elon Musk, hopefully, then yeah, whatever it can do to unlock its full potential, I'm willing to try to unlock it and do the most that I can. So yeah, stay tuned for any modifications, and that concludes this video. I'll see you all in the next project.